Hello everyone. In this introduction to C-Sharp video, we are going to learn how we can play animations on models and objects within C-Sharp. Before we get into it, remember to subscribe to see more and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload. It really, really helps me out. Now, on with the show. So being able to play an animation from a C-Sharp script is actually very, very simple, but there are a couple of things that we do need to take note of before we can create the code for that. So in the scene where you have your model, I have a cube, just to illustrate whatever model that is, and attached to that cube, I have the animator component. So we need to make sure that whatever we're trying to animate should already have an animation that you can create, that you can create yourself perhaps, or maybe it comes with an animation, say from Mixamo. As long as you have the animator component and the animator tab, which is right here, and if you don't have that, you can just click on window, click on animation, and click on animator. And you'll notice that I do indeed have the cube selected and we can see the animations attached to it. So by default here, this one is just an empty animation and this is the animation that we want to be able to play. So if I press play, we'll see that nothing happens to the cube. So we need to create a script that will play the animation. Now the animation name is also called my anim with a capital M and a capital A. So these are the two things that we need to make sure we have the animation name and the animator component on the actual object. So what we need to do is let's create another script. Obviously it can be called absolutely anything you want because all we're focusing on here is the line of code that we need to create to animate an object. And we're gonna do two slight variations depending on how you want to attach your script to your scene. So I'm just going to call the script anim object. And what we're going to start with is we are going to attach this script to the object itself to start the animation. So all we really need here is the start method. So we can delete everything we don't need. And I think it really is good practice to have as little code as physically possible inside a script. If you don't need a method, there's no point having it there. If you don't need the annotations, get rid of them. Do not need them. So the easiest and simplest way of doing this is getting the component animator and playing it from there. And we can reference the object that it's attached to just by typing this and then dot get component. And then in our spiky brackets, the name of our component that we are trying to reference here. In this case, it is the animator. And then parentheses, so open close bracket. And then we tell it what we want it to do. In this case, we want it to play an animation. So we type the word play. And then inside brackets and quotes, we then put the name of the animation that we want to play. In our case, our animation that we've got attached to the cube is indeed called my anim. Now it is vital that you do type it absolutely correctly. If you put a lowercase m there, this won't work. It is important that you get capitalization correct. So we can then close our quote, close our bracket and semicolon and save the script. So realistically, that line of code will now play the animation. It's as simple as that. You'll also find within C Sharp a lot of things that which sound complicated and difficult can usually be resolved in just a couple of lines. And it's just about logical thinking most of the time. So remember, this is not going to do anything at the moment. So now let's attach our anim object script to our cube. And if we press play now, that script will execute and tell it that it needs to animate. It needs to play that animation. And that's exactly what it's done. Perfect. So what if we don't want that script on this particular object? Well, we can get around that a different way. So let's go back to our anim object script and let's use something that we've learned previously throughout this series, variable. So let's say public, game object my cube and what we can do now is instead of saying this we can say my cube dot get component animator and play my anim so let's save that script and let's go back into unity and now instead let's attach 
that anim object script onto the directional light for good measure. There we go. And you'll see down here that we do indeed have a variable to declare. So we can put that cube in there. So now we're still going to start that animation going, even though there is no script attached to our cube. Awesome. So it is just as simple as that. And if we go a little bit further, there are ways that you can play around with this as well. So instead of having the word play, you can see that we can indeed use a couple of different options. So for example, we can stop playback. We can play, we can do whatever we want to this. I mean, realistically, most of the time you'll find that you're just playing. You don't need to do much else. It'll do all in good time, but we can play in fixed time as well. But generally, for the simplest and easiest thing to do is just to have play, and your animation in there. And as you saw, it's as simple as that. Just that one line of code to execute and we can animate any object as long as, like I say, we have that animator component set correctly and the name of our animation. I hope you've learned something. And if you want to know more about this, please leave a comment below. And as I said earlier, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever more videos of this series come out. Thank you very much for watching guys.